How to make more money while you work less Growing up as a little boy, there is one thing I loved and that's freedom. However, as I became an adult, I noticed that nobody can have true freedom except you have enough money. At the same time, what most people do to have money is to work harder, which is the easiest way to lose your freedom. Can anyone have his cake after eating it? Can anyone have enough money while working less? Yes, and that's why in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 5 things you must do if you want to work less and have your freedom while you still make good money. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Change the way you think about money In some culture, making money is closely associated with working hard and to make more money, you even have to work harder. In such culture, if you want to increase your income, you are expected to work extra hours or get a second job. Unfortunately, if you grow up in an environment like this, you are naturally programmed for poverty because something in you will believe that hard work is what makes people rich. Yes, hard work is important but it's not what makes anyone rich. In fact, you can work lesser than how you are working now and make more money. I'll explain as we continue in this video. For now, stop associating hard work with wealth creation. Start associating value creation with wealth creation because you can only be rich when you know how to create and sell value. Number 2. Get Financial Education I started reading books about money when I was around 17. At a point, I started getting angry as I wondered why I would learn more about money from a 200-page book I borrowed from a friend than from two years of schooling. The primary reason why most people work hard all their lives is the lack of financial education. Most people of the world know a lot of things about so many things because school taught them but they know nothing about money because nobody will teach you about money in school. If you don't want to work hard all your life, I beg you to spend few hours each week to read about money. With financial education, I was able to create a business system that makes me money even when I sleep. You can do similar things if you change how you think about money. First, do you think money is so important that you have to work hard for it all your life? If not, discipline yourself to read good books about money, business and investing. The more you know about money, the less you work for money. Number 3. Use technologies and internet to build wealth By now you know about giant companies like Google, Amazon or Facebook who make billions of dollars from the internet but what you may not know is the fact that more than ever before, today ordinary people are creating wealth by using technologies and the internet. So what can you do? First, consider what your talents or skills are. What you can sell on the internet is only limited by your imagination. I know people who make money on the internet by teaching people how to do exercise. There are people who are selling their physical goods. There are thousands of consultants online, including dogs and cat consultants. <laughs> it's funny but I'm telling you the truth. In fact, there are people on YouTube and Instagram who do nothing other than to stand in front of the camera and speak whatever they wish to. Either because they are funny, intelligent or unusual, thousands of people follow them and they end up making as high as five to ten thousand dollars each month. In fact, I saw a man simply showing how he fought on YouTube and making money off that. I once read about some guys who are using the internet to sell stones. <laughs> yes, stones. I mean, there are just too many opportunities today than for any smart individual to hate his job and do nothing about it. But what's keeping people from living their dream life? I'll explain that very soon. Number 4. Employ people and delegate tasks I once saw a businessman who is proud of doing everything. I wonder who taught him that about business. One of the reasons why you may be working too hard is if you are an employee, 
and another is if you want to achieve new height with your business and the third is if you are not delegating enough. Of all these three reasons, only number two makes sense. If you are working too hard in a job you hate, it's your fault. It's because you have a low self-esteem. It's because you think that's what you deserve. It's because you don't know that we are living in a world where you can design your life and get exactly what you design. If you're working too hard because you're a perfectionist who believe no one can do it as well as you, it's your fault too. You have to know how to get people to do what you should do. You have to learn how to delegate and work less. You have to know how to do only what you alone can do. If you can delegate a task for $100, and it will take you 5 hours to do it yourself, you should only do it if your 5 hours is worth only $100. Number 5. Be willing to work harder at first Yes, to work less, you might have to work harder at first. Let me assume that you are an employee who wants to start a business. This means you may have to work hard during the day at your job and work at nights and weekend on your startup. No one should expect this to be easy, but many people have done such hard work for one or two years and grow their little business to the point where they could resign their jobs and eventually work less. I know of a woman who was working in a retail industry for maybe $3,000 a month. After starting a business for some time and putting in all the work, she was able to get it into making $700 per month on passive income. While $700 isn't a lot of money, think about the fact that she makes such money whether she works or not. Also, think about the fact that if anyone knows how to earn $700 on passive income, such a person could improve her business to earn $3,000. So what do you think is keeping people from pursuing their dreams? Simple. The fear of the unknown. Most people rarely dare life. When they do, many people simply go back after a few failures. If you really want to build a life that gives you freedom and money without having to sacrifice one for another, you have to be proactive. Take massive actions, be curious, get financial education and know what you're good at and who needs your skills and talents. Then figure out how to sell your skills or how to acquire some other sellable skills. Think about the problems your skills can solve for other people or acquire some sellable skills. Learn how to sell value and use the power of the internet to sell to the entire world. Above all, believe you can do it and be willing to work hard at the beginning so that you can end up with the freedom and money you deserve. I do it and I believe you can do it. You enjoyed this video, didn't you? We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we unpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.